I think creativity transforms its expression over time. So even though a person may be creative in one way, I think, you know, every couple of years it may shift. So I used to feel really creative in the way that I dressed as a kid. And then I used to feel really creative with like the music I would listen to. I used to feel really, really creative with the language that I would learn or even the places I would travel to. So, yeah. Um, strangely enough, I get a lot of my inspiration from music and um, occasionally like fashion, um, hip hop culture. Um, I love uh, just the sort of lyricism that I grew up with, listening to a lot of um, rap and then like the creative creativity of R&B singers and just musicians in general. I can't make music per se, like I have never tried to be a, a musical artist, but I just admire the craft. And I think there's a lot of similarities between the um, the vulnerability and like spontaneity that it takes to create a good song, um, as well as the, what it takes to create a good painting. I think I have always felt this sense of like not really blending in as a kid, um, as a traveler, whenever I would travel overseas and just as a human being. And so I think my art is really this challenge to maintain that level of like bravery. Uh, and this definitely inspires my artwork. I always tell the artists that I teach as well, you know, don't over blend your work. Don't water down your colors and your brush marks and your, you know, the, the rawness of being a painter. You don't have to blend it till it's this smooth, you know, sort of ice cream cake uh, icing on the top. That's that's really not what people are coming to me for as a painter. And I think just in general, they're looking to see art that kind of grabs them by the gut, you know, so uh, blending things in and making it, you know, super smooth, even though that's the way I kind of started out as a painter is definitely not something that I lean into now as an artist. Um, the work that has led me to, um, you know, the success that I have now is hit, a lot of it came from some of my most complex, confusing periods in my life, going through divorce, being um, relocating, experiencing death and grief all around me, um, becoming aware of certain traumas, um, generational trauma, epigenetics, whatever you want to call it. Um, a lot of my paintings were a direct response to the things that I have, I've learned and continue to learn about myself as a woman, as an African-American artist in this 21st century era that we're in, in this digital age. So um, that's been the biggest lesson that I've learned.